Joyce Hicks' ability to transform ordinary landscape scenes into beautiful works of art has made her an internationally acclaimed artist. Her dynamic brushwork and expressive use of color combine in a unique way, giving her paintings a fresh, welcoming look that is easily recognizable. She paints with a powerful signature style that invites viewers into her scenes for a glimpse of a simpler way of life. She shares her love of the landscape with viewers by painting a variety of subjects from rural farms and country landscapes to time-worn coastal cottages sitting at the edge of the sea. She resides in Texas with her husband and little dog Sassy in a light-filled home where she is currently authoring her own book about transforming the landscape to be released in 2014. Thank you for joining me today and welcome to my DVD. I hope this DVD will inspire you and offer insight into how I go about transforming the landscape. Before we First, start, you have the inspiration. You can record that with a sketch or with a camera. I keep a camera with me always. And this is a, a scene of some quaint coastal cottages. They're very plain and ordinary. And, uh, but what made me want to paint this is about the day and the feeling of the place. I'm going to use this smaller uh, close-up version I've painted this so many times. I've used the road. I've painted it from different angles. But we'll do this close-up version today. Lord, it's absolutely necessary. And I'm often surprised at my workshops at how many people don't do this value sketch. But I wouldn't think of uh, doing a painting without understanding my composition and my values first. A palette knife, primarily used by oil painters. But I find it exceptional uh, in creating a unique texture on watercolor paper. It's, all, it's also part of my signature look. Where it and you see I'm using the side of my brush here to get some nice raggedy shapes. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, these little sky holes. You, you'll notice I don't uh, exactly follow my lines. Uh, I paint it where I want it to be a little bit of coolness to this shape to make it appear to go further back into the landscape. And we'll paint small, learn big. You can learn so much more by doing several small paintings quickly than laboring for days over a large sheet of watercolor paper. When you have a small study that meets all of your expectations, then and only then should you commit your idea to a large sheet of paper. So now we have a lot of color massed in and uh, I can go to work on getting these big roof shapes done. And uh, what I'm going to do for those, I'm gonna mix up a nice uh, gray that I'll either warm or cool. I'll warm it up here and I'll cool the gray down as it goes back into the landscape. So I'm going to Invite viewers into your painting by creating a strong focal point. This is where you want your viewer's journey around your painting to begin. A painting without a focal point is like a book without a first chapter to pull you into the story. Once you have engaged the viewer, you can entice the eye here as far as adding this texture. So I'll be doing it with this, and that'll be a variety. So it's not a bad thing. You just have to remember to continue this texture because the eye is going to look for it as it goes across the painting. Practice with this rigor brush. Make line after line until you can use them in a creative way. This is the side. I'm going to add a little sun to the fronts of these windows. Just a stroke can make you think that the sun is falling upon it. 